നമസ്കാരം ഞാൻ എലിക്കുട്ടിയാണ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ടു ലേൺ മലയാളം വിത്ത് എലിക്കുട്ടി ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലുക്ക് ആറ്റ് മേക്കിംഗ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇൻ മലയാളം ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട് ഐഡ് ലൈക് ടു ഫോക്കസ് ഓൺ സം സിംപിൾ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വേർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഈസി വേസ് ടു ആൻസർ ദം ബിഫോർ വി ഡു ദാറ്റ് വി നീഡ് ടു മേക് ഷുവർ വെർ ഫമിലിയർ വിത്ത് ത്രീ ലെറ്റേഴ്സ് എ ഇ അ എ ഇ അ These three letters are going to help us determine the question and how to answer the question words. Let's start with e. Why do we need to know e? Listen to these words. Eppo, evide, engane. They all start with e. So, when we start to reply to questions, we don't need to change a word. We simply need to change the first letter depending on the distance the answer is from us. So, let's look at e. E is for something that's close to us. So, if someone asks engane, how? Engane. Like this. Evre, where? Ivre, here. Epo, when? Ipo, now. So, now that we know the letter to use for close things, we know that a uh, will be used for things that are far away. Engane, how? Angane, like that. Evide, where? Avide, over there. Ippo, when? Apo, then. So, with these simple patterns, we can understand the question and the answer just on the first letter of the word. Pause and try to figure out the following questions. Now let's check your answers. How did you do? So, now that we know the question words and answers, let's see how we use them in a sentence. It should be known that in Malayalam, the verb itself can be changed into a question by simply adding an o at the end. So, for the sentence he is John, Avan John Arne, we can make this into a question, is he John, by simply changing Arne to Ano. Avan John Ano. But when we use a question word like epo, evide, engane, We don't have to change the last word into a question. So, if we want to say where is John, we wouldn't want to say John Evideano. This is not correct. We would say John Evideano. It's understood. Where is John? All right, let's check your understanding. Choose the correct verb to end the sentence. How did you do? Remember, if there's already a question word, you just keep Arne as Arne, no change. So, let's go over what we learned today. First, we went over the letters E, I, and A, and how they help us with forming questions and giving answers. E is always at the beginning of the question word. E is a response that is close to us, and A is a response that is far away from us. Also we learned that when using these question words we don't have to change the verb into a question form. Now, go to the comment section below and create your own simple question and try to answer someone else's question as well. Let's see what kind of conversations we can have and what we can learn from each other today. Until next time, apo elam para na bolle. I'm working hard on making the next Malayalam video for Learn Malayalam with Elikutti. In the meantime, why don't you check out my Instagram page at eli.kutti. I'm also on Facebook at Learn Malayalam with Eli Kutti. Don't forget to like, subscribe and select the bell so you get notifications of anything new coming from my channel. See you soon.